Having the water in Wanky National Park has led us into a situation that I would prefer not to be in. It's building uh, to the point where Wanky is a ticking time bomb. I've watched elephants die of thirst and starvation. It is not a pretty sight. It's very, very ugly. If you wanted a radical answer as to how to uh, remedy the situation, you could turn the water off. Uh, if we were not pumping these power pens, the elephants are going to die. We are going to have to get our heads around killing 30,000 elephants through dehydration and starvation. You're going to leave large numbers of elephants to die and rot in the bush. We see elephants die here every year. If there were migration routes open to them that they knew about, why would they stay here and die? We've reached the stage now where massive scale culling just, just is no longer an option. It was difficult to cull 5,000. It'll be impossible, I think, to cull 10,000. What gives you the right to decide who should stand in front of the barrel of the gun? I do not believe that contraception has a place in controlling elephant populations in a place such as Wanky National Park. Contraception um, may not be um, the silver bullet that everybody thought it was. Anybody that advertises contraception or as a conservation tool lies to society. How many elephants can you trans translocate in a year? Perhaps two or three hundred, maybe five hundred, say even a thousand. Where are they going to go to? And again, it's a matter of transferring the problem from one place to another. The reality of the situation is we've got 40,000 elephants in that park right now. We cannot walk away from it. We have to find some long-term solutions. And one of them doesn't involve just turning all the water off and walking away from it. <laughs>